Hey there, welcome to my channel. I am Jason, I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist. And recently, I did a review of the Philips Respironics Dream Station 2 CPAP Auto Advanced, really long name, not sure why, just Dream Station 2, perfectly fine. All right, I did a review of this. Overall said, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> that could have been the first video. Eh, yeah, it's good, I like it. So what I said is, it's perfectly good for a typical user, right? Does this have compatibility with Oscar? And if you're not familiar with Oscar, Oscar to me is the end all be all as far as sleep and successful treatment of sleep apnea with CPAP. What Oscar does, it stands for Open Source CPAP Analysis Reporter. Basically, it lets you see every breath you took during the night and it gives you detailed trend windows of what your leak is during the night. So a lot of times you'll see on your stupid apps, oh, you had a leak of whatever for the entire night. Well, that tells you that's an average. It, it really gives you no information of if it was low, then spiked and spiked, and then it really trended high, but overall it was low. Overall it doesn't help. A very detailed information about what it was throughout the night is helpful. And that is what Oscar does. Let me go ahead and cue up Oscar here because, woo, baby, we're gonna sync these up. So while we wait for that screen recorder to pull up, I'm just gonna yammer more. So we're gonna see if this is compatible with Oscar. I don't know if it is yet, so to get to our SD card, um, first you have to have an SD card in there. If you do not have an SD card in here and this did not come with one, you need to put an SD card in, otherwise it records absolutely no data. Dude, come out, what are you doing? You're making me look bad. Wow, it's really wedged in there. So SD card, super cheap. Uh, just get one that's like one or two gigabytes. Uh, if you go higher than eight, it seems like it starts to screw it up. It's just one or two, it records plenty of data, okay? So I've had it in there, I've used it for five nights. Every night I've had an SD card in there. One night the power actually went out and that sucks, but hey, it happens. Brilliant, we are now recording. Okay, SD card, I am putting it in my SD card slot. I'm not kidding you, this is the most important video I think I'm gonna do all year. Does this, does the Dream Station 2 have compatibility with Oscar right out of the gate? If it doesn't, I am not even kinda gonna recommend the Dream Station 2 cause like seriously, you just, people are crapping on my video. I get calls and it shows on there. Hey, quick shameless plug here. If you're looking to help out yourself or this channel, please check out my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Here we have some wonderful options. We have a comprehensive type two home sleep study, great for pilots or anyone regulated by the DOT. If you want something, your, your sleep isn't quite optimized as much as you'd like, you can do a little talk to a tech, we can hash it out over the phone. And if you want something a little more in depth, I have my very popular PAP therapy data analysis. Now you're gonna need Oscar to do this, but let me show you kind of what we're looking at with this. This is my Oscar data. Now, anything wrong here? Oh, ooh, look at the leak rate. Should it be doing that? Oh, I don't know. Check out the pressure, it's all over the place. Is that good or bad? Oh, well, who knows? Uh, look at this, central apnea? Oh my God, am I dying? Uh, a lot of these questions answered with PAP therapy analysis. Oh God, that doesn't look right. Oof, man. Hey, if you want a nice educational experience, I'll show you what all of this stuff means. We'll come up with an action plan of how to improve your sleep. So many people that come to me have an apnea hypopnea index that's under five, yet they're still tired. They still have memory fog. They are still fatigued throughout the day. Let me see if I can help you out. And last thing is, uh, your mask probably stinks, so uh, maybe buy some mask spray. If this does not have compatibility with Oscar, it's really, really hard to recommend because, I mean, how can people track their data and see how they're doing? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna go into CPAP importer. Last time I used, see typically I use an AirSense 10. This is the Dream Station 2. We're importing. Uh-oh, baby, this is good. So this is what I was thinking. I was thinking it was gonna look like it's a system one. The way they write the file, we'll see. What did it do? Oh, did it do it? Uh-oh, I don't think it did. I don't think it did. All right, let me specify a different location. Uh, all right, import, import. Uh, no, we're gonna specify. Uh, eh? Yeah, last modified. I think that was the last time I used it. Eh, eh. Did it do it? Ooh, nothing, nothing, what? 
Oh, that's a, just a crushing disappointment. All right, I'm going to look at the exact days I used it using the dumb Dream Mapper. Now, who would have known you needed the machine to be plugged in and, and able to do a, a Bluetooth download? That's curious. Anyway, so it's downloading. I'm going to see it's doing the data, data transfer. We're at 60%. Five nights of data are transferring, but really the data is going to be like really... Uh, basic data. God, that's a bummer if this doesn't work. Almost there. Upload successful. I'll be able to see it soon. What are we going to see? All right, I guess we're totally hosed. Okay, so this is all we really get out of Dream Mapper. I use it the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. Fairly certain. Oh, yeah. 5th, uh, 6th, 7th, 8th. I went out of town 9th and 10th and 11th. I didn't use it. Then I used it on the 12th and the 13th. Right there. Not real helpful. You can see uh, apnea hypopnea index of 3.8. I don't know what that means because I can't see it in Oscar. Usage is 4 hours and 11 minutes. I did not tape that night. That's why I remember. I, curiously, it says mask fit of 100%, even though I know I mouth leaked that night and it totally screwed me up. Um, so Thursday, I did tape. Got 6 hours, 20 minutes. AHI of 2.7. Again, don't trust it because, you know, false positives and all. Friday. Uh, that's the day the power went out. Apnea hypopnea index of two, three hours, and the power shut off, and I panicked and suffocated. That was fun. Uh, Saturday, we had 2.7. I got five hours and 41 minutes. Mass fit, perfect again. We fast forward to Wednesday, May 12th. Almost seven hours, 2.4 AHI. Again, AHI means nothing to me. I like to look in and see if there's mask leaking or mouth leaking. Uh, you can see down at the bottom, my 90 percentile pressure was at seven. Looks like seven on that night also, with a little over four hours, four and a half hours of usage. So it's kind of curious here. Went up to seven on this night, six, six, 8.2. Must've been a real sleepy boy. Seven, it went up to as average, seven again. So maybe my normal pressure needs to be seven. Not really sure. Would have had great data in Oscar, but it's not working. So piss off, Dream Station 2. I have no use for you, and I'm kind of not even kidding. Uh, that was a fresh card, too. There's nothing else on there. Man. <sighs> well, that stinks. So apparently no Oscar compatibility with the Dream Station 2. Until there is, I'm not, I wouldn't recommend the Dream Station 2 for anyone. Uh, the data that you get when using Oscar is just far too valuable if you're having problems with it. Pretty disappointing. Anyway, to the Oscar developers, hopefully you guys do figure it out quickly. Uh, I like the machine, it seems nice. They're not selling the Dream Station anymore. So where do you go from here? I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Uh, let me know what you're thinking in the comments section down below. If you wanna help support this channel, like, subscribe, share this video. We also have things in the description box down below. If you happen to have a machine that has Oscar capability, uh, you can see what if it does by visiting sleepfiles.com forward slash Oscar. Get a free download there. AirSense 10, AirCurve, um, DreamStation 1. System 1 still work. That's nice. Yeah. This is all crap all of a sudden. All right. Let me know what you're thinking in the comment section down below. I appreciate you watching and take care until next time. Hey, Uncle Pappers here, urging you to check out maskbright.com. Look, one thing, we have Maskbright back in stock. No need to wait, get it there. But I wanted to show you this, discount mask section. Look at all these masks. We have new and used masks for super low prices. I just added discount code STEEL from Lanky. When you use this, know that you're gonna get a great price and you're actually literally slapping food out of my children's mouths. Save a bunch of money, get a good laugh. Check out maskbright.com. Thank you to anyone watching this video, but an extra special thank you to my top level Patreon supporters and a low level. Thanks buddy to Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, and Mona Swearingen. Thank you and thanks buddy. One of the things, God, don't text me now, I'm doing a video. One of the things I want to discuss as to if I really actually like this or if I'm just pretending I like it.